Imagine a world where reality is not what it seems. Where the very building blocks of matter and energy, at the tiniest scales, behave in bizarre and seemingly impossible ways. This world is the realm of quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that defies intuition and common sense. In the quantum world, particles can exist in multiple states at the same time, and information can be transmitted instantaneously over vast distances. This world is governed by strange properties like wave-particle duality, superposition, entanglement, and the uncertainty principle. But what if I told you that this strange and mysterious world might hold the key to understanding consciousness itself? That's the idea behind quantum consciousness. It suggests that the principles of quantum mechanics, which seem so foreign and counterintuitive, might be at work inside our very brains. In this theory, the neurons and synapses in our brains operate not according to classical mechanics, but according to the strange and probabilistic laws of quantum mechanics. This could mean that the very nature of our thoughts and experiences is influenced by the strange and mysterious behavior of subatomic particles. The concept of determinism in the brain, the idea that every cognitive process follows a predictable cause and effect pattern, is being challenged by the fascinating world of quantum consciousness. At the subatomic level, particles don't have a definite state until they are observed, meaning their behavior can only be described in terms of probabilities. And when two particles are entangled, their state cannot be predicted with certainty until the state of the other particle is measured. This suggests that the behavior of neurons and synapses in the brain may also be probabilistic rather than deterministic. Imagine a complex network of quantum information, constantly entangled, creating patterns that are not entirely predictable. It's like trying to predict the movements of a swarm of bees, their behavior is not always certain and can only be described in terms of probabilities. Enter the thrilling world of the brain, where the behavior of neurons and synapses is not set in stone, but rather follows a mysterious and unpredictable pattern. This complex network of quantum information constantly entangles itself, giving rise to a unique way of processing information. It's a world where the boundaries of what we know are constantly being pushed, potentially leading to groundbreaking insights into perception, memory, and decision-making. Two renowned researchers, physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff studied on this. They have put forth a mind-blowing theory that suggests consciousness arises from the collapse of quantum wave functions in tiny protein structures called microtubules. These microtubules make up the cytoskeleton of neurons, and according to the Orchestrated Objective Reduction or ORCOR theory, they act as tiny quantum computers, processing information through quantum computation. The microtubules in neurons are believed to be entangled with each other, forming a complex network of quantum information. When a neuron fires, the microtubules undergo a process known as orchestrated objective reduction, in which the wave function of the quantum information collapses to a single state. This collapse is thought to be the key to the generation of consciousness, as it creates a conscious experience that is beyond our current understanding. The Orkor theory proposes that consciousness is not just a mere byproduct of the brain, but a fundamental aspect of the cosmos, existing beyond the physical confines of our bodies. This theory suggests that consciousness is a non-local phenomenon, present everywhere in the universe, much like the fabric of space and time. But this isn't just some far-fetched idea. The Orko theory is grounded in science, with evidence pointing towards the role of microtubules, tiny protein structures in neurons, as the key to understanding consciousness. The collapse of quantum wave functions in these microtubules is thought to be responsible for conscious experience, creating a unified and non-local phenomenon across the brain. The Orko theory is still shrouded in controversy, but that has not stopped the scientific community from actively researching and refining this mind-boggling theory. The brain's inner workings are shrouded in mystery, where the very fabric of reality itself may be at play. The orchestrated objective reduction theory proposes that the brain's neurons and synapses create a complex web of quantum information that may be responsible for our conscious experience. This suggests that the way we perceive and think may not be deterministic, 
but rather influenced by quantum processes that are constantly at play. But the theory is not without its skeptics, who argue that the Orkor theory is incompatible with established principles of physics, leaving the scientific community at odds with one another. The very notion of quantum consciousness has ignited a firestorm of debate, stirring up fundamental questions about the nature of our reality, the origins of consciousness, and our place in the cosmos. While many remain skeptical, the possibility that quantum processes may be at the heart of our cognitive abilities cannot be ignored. As research continues to delve deeper into the mysteries of the brain and consciousness, we may soon unlock the secrets of the quantum world and gain a deeper understanding of our place in the universe. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe.